quite possible that I'm your third man, girl. But it's a fact that I'm the seventh son. Welcome. This week I want to talk about something that I find pretty interesting in regards to the current trend that we see with strength and conditioning on the internet, sports on the internet, anything to do with the internet, in regards to how people can get away with making comments that may even be less than accurate. And the reason why this comes to mind recently is with the Olympic trials for track and field just ending, there was a number of critical posts towards some of the athletes on some of the forums regarding their ability to actually perform. And a lot of it was completely falsified. You know, it's just opinion, and it's just one person trying to stir the pot. But the problem is, is I see this in so many different aspects of what I do as a coach and as an athlete. And it, it's becoming very frustrating that we live in a society where there's such a huge amount of anonymity when it comes to being able to voice your opinion or to be able to stand and try to rip down another person. And it's actually a detriment to the entire industry from a coaching standpoint because what happens are being raised into this generation right now that don't carry with them a healthy level of skepticism to the information. You know, when I was younger, it was often believed that unless it came from the horse's mouth or you could back it up with proof specifically, that it was always just nonsense. It was always just bullshit. It was always just hearsay. But more and more as we move towards a technological age, people are looking for something maybe to follow a little bit or maybe to key in on. And what happens is they can be misguided and key in on shit that couldn't be further from the truth. And it is starting to perpetuate itself throughout our entire culture, in, in my opinion. And who am I? Nobody. But what I do see is a trend towards mediocrity in general. So you see a lot of these comments coming from anonymity because at the end of the day, nine times out of ten, they're coming from people that can't make it, don't know how the other people are doing it, it has to be cheating, it has to be drugs, it has to be some sort of fucking nonsense. And instead of just taking the the weight of the situation on themselves and understanding that there are going to be people that are great, there are going to be people that are good, and there are going to be people that just don't quite get to that level. Okay, It doesn't matter if we're talking about strength and conditioning, it doesn't matter if we talk about intellectual matters. I'm never going to be a brain surgeon, all right? That's the fucking reality of it, okay? Could have I been a brain surgeon if I went to school for a long time? Yeah, maybe, but I wouldn't go to me, okay? Look at the size of these fucking hands, okay? So at the end of the day, everybody has a gift that they can use to better themselves. Sometimes people follow the wrong path and chase the wrong gift, but I'm not going to talk about that right now, but I do believe that that is an existence into itself, that people think they want to be one thing when they truly are great at something else, but for whatever reason they're denying themselves. Okay, But all this started to come to a head this week for me because all this nonsense and jibber-jabber and bullshit's floating around. And you see it on the bodybuilding forums. You see it on, you know, I'm sure, football forums in Europe. You see it everywhere. A bunch of assholes that don't know what they're talking about or perhaps they know too much about the interworkings of a game or a sport, but they themselves never excelled at it. So they'd rather sit back and be what we call in America armchair quarterbacks. They have all the answers, but none of the ability. But I'm starting to see this trend towards mediocrity filter into other aspects of what's going on. For example, to my dismay, I saw a gentleman walk into my gym uh, earlier this week, and Nike has produced a shirt, and I kid you not, that says, Lazy But Talented. <laughs> I don't even know what that fucking is supposed to mean. Lazy but talented. Because as a coach, and 
at a time when I was recruiting athletes to go to university, if I saw a kid wandering around, okay, wearing a shirt proudly that says lazy but talented, he just immediately dropped off my fucking radar. True story. Okay, the reason being, you're actually wearing a billboard stating to the world that, yeah, I may have certain skills or I may have a certain genetic aptitude, but at the end of the day, I just don't give a fuck. Why don't I give a fuck? Because I'd rather play on my fucking iPhone or I'd rather sit in front of the television or I'd rather crank out four hours after school on my PS3. That's the reality. That's what lazy but talented is. That is the guy that goes into the gym and instead of putting in 45-minute work of drill and practice and ball handling skills or field work or specific technique work, rather just fuck off and try to make it all about the game. Oh, if I can play the game well, then fuck, I'll be fine. Okay, so I saw this and it made me realize that this is just a growing trend within our society, that people are starting to accept the fact that technology is doing more for us than it used to. We don't have to maintain a certain amount of skill to get ahead like we used to. And it's going to start to integrate itself into more things. Well, here's a reality check for you. And I don't know why fucking Nike would make this shirt. I could see some jerk-off company making it as like a joke. But Nike? Seriously. The fucking swoosh is the symbol for victory, for Christ's sakes. And here's the other fucking reality. I don't care how skilled an athlete is. When you get to the highest level, which I've been fortunate enough to work in, all those guys work. And all those guys have worked at one time in their life. You will not get through college at a high level and make it to the pros with a lazy but talented t-shirt. Or a lazy but talented mentality. It's the most ridiculous thing I've seen in a long time. I remember when I was coming through high school, we had a company called No Fear. And No Fear went from being a brand name company to Walmart Special. Why? Ah, fuck. Who knows? But here's a reality. You know what shirt they made when I was a senior in high school? Second place is the first loser. All right? And lazy but talented? I bet you fucking dollars to donuts, motherfucker. You will be second place. Okay? It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But somebody is going to hand you your ass and wrap it in a little bow for you. So Nike, thanks for doing the country a complete disservice by producing a shirt for fuckheads. Ha <laughs> ha